visit eaglerunnerbill.com. Eagle Runner Bill here. This video is for entertainment value only. If you're unfamiliar with electricity, seek professional assistance. In this video, we're going to be reading power and the input power cable on a 240 volt AC dryer. Okay, your meter. First, you want to have your function select switch in the volt AC mode, your red meter lead in the voltage socket, and your black meter lead in the common or ground socket. Your typical dryer hookups, your white wire is neutral, your black and red wire are power, 120 volts, AC. Okay, before you access anything working on electricity, make sure you secure the power. Make sure the power is off. To access the power cable input, it's behind this panel right here, just above where the cable goes into the back of the dryer. Simply remove this one screw and you can gain access to the connections. There's your simple power cable connections right there. We're going to take a meter. We're going to hook one lead to the red wire, the other lead to the white or neutral wire. Turn on power and get a voltage reading. We're reading 121.3 volts, which is good. Close enough to 120. Disconnect power. Reconnect our meter leads. This time we're going to hook one to the white wire, the neutral wire, the other wire to the black power wire and see what kind of voltage reading we get. Let's turn the power on and see what kind of voltage we have there. And we've got 120 Point six volts, which is good. Let's secure power. Now we're going to go line to line voltage. That's for a black wire, one meter lead, and the other meter lead on the red wire. Turn on power, and there's our 240 volts. Okay, so our hookup is good, and that's the way you check power on your typical 240 volt AC dryer hookup. Thanks for watching.